Now, let's talk about monitoring with the 7D camera. Let me get this out of our way. The first question you're going to ask when it's time to monitor with your 7D camera is, number one, why are you monitoring? Number two, how do you intend to monitor? And number three, how much is it going to cost you? All right, let's start with why are we monitoring? Well, when you turn on the camera, you've got the option to view the LCD monitor right here. Can you zoom in any of that? All right, so I've got a live picture on my LCD monitor. That's pretty cool. But if I'm not a one-man band, if I'm not just a single filmmaker out there, let's say I've got a producer with me, let's say I've got to set my camera up on a jib and I'm not up on the boom with the jib, I'm sort of back here operating it. There are all kinds of situations where you need to provide a client monitor or um, a director's monitor so that people can see what, what you're doing while you're operating. So that's the why of the monitoring. Now we come to the how. Now this is kind of, this is kind of important. When you do connect, either an analog composite output of the camera or the digital HDMI output of the camera, you are going to lose, you are going to lose your viewfinder. And let me show you what I mean here. Thank you, Jose. So there's my live monitor. Once I plug the camera monitor cable out, we're gone. We're gone. So what you have to keep in mind is when you are monitoring, if you're going to send a signal to somebody else, you've got to keep a signal around for you so that you can operate the camera, unless you're up on a jib, this kind of thing. Point being, if you are going to be monitoring, you've got to think in twos at the very minimum. You've got to take your signal out from here and put it up on a monitor for you to see, and then send that signal out to somebody else. So now that we're in the how of monitoring, and you're thinking in twos, when you're deciding which monitor to pick up, Keep in mind, it's going to be very beneficial if you've got a looping monitor. So if you're going composite, you want to have a loop out of your composite monitor. If you're going HDMI, you'd better have an HDMI in and an HDMI out. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to send that signal to your director monitor, to your client monitor, to whomever else wants to be looking at your signal. When you're monitoring in composite, you've got a 4x3 signal only. Okay? It's a down-converted, standard def pillar box, letter box, they do a lot of things to the signal. Uh, I recommend if you're going to be doing high definition production, you might as well have a high definition monitor. Now before we go a little bit further into the monitoring in twos, I want to go over to Debbie who's got a question coming in from the internet. Two questions. Did you mention there was something that was $499 because Alexandra wanted to know what that was? Welcome Alexandra. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, thank you for watching the show. In the, uh, the question was, did I mention there was something that was $499? Alexandra would like to know what it is. The, uh, the Habicam shoulder mount, $499. What we're talking about uh, tonight is the cage. Now the cage is $599. You could get the cage separate from the rod system. We recommend getting the package. The cage package, the cage package with the rod system, $599. Um, we also rent them here at Midtown Video, a little bit less expensive. You got, another, you got a follow up there? Great, fantastic. And the other question is from Z Garcy. She wants to know, do you have any handheld accessories? Welcome, Z Garcy. Uh, I'm glad you made it. As far as handheld accessories, um, I, I guess your handheld accessories. Sure, sure. We could slide a Zoom audio recorder right in the shoe mount. Uh, we could take the cage out and just use the rods and apply a follow focus right here. I guess these are the kinds of handheld stuff we're talking about. We're going we're gonna to leave accessories behind for the moment and return to uh, our, monitoring, uh, our monitoring issues. 